Hey, hope you're having a great day. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through the four worst types of accelerated degrees. If you've followed my channel at all, if you've seen any of my videos, you probably know that I earned an entire bachelor's degree in just nine months. Well, the truth is you can accelerate college degrees using multiple different strategies. There are a few different ways to do this and some ways are better than others. Some schools have better programs than others and if you're looking for the right school and the right way to accelerate a degree, there are some major, major things you need to look out for. So if you're interested in the four worst ways or worst types of programs for accelerating college degrees, then let's dive in. Hi, I'm Ryan Swate, and I used to be a two-time college dropout, making just 12 bucks an hour. Then I learned how to hack college and earned an entire bachelor's degree in nine months flat. Subscribe to my channel, and I'll show you how. All right, so let's dive straight in. We're gonna jump straight over to my computer, and I'm gonna tell you way number one. First thing I'll tell you is, these are in no particular order, but these are different types of accelerated programs that I personally cannot stand. I don't like accelerating degrees using these particular strategies. The first way is finding a school that offers accelerated semesters, okay? When accelerating a degree, you want to go at your own pace. You don't want anyone holding you back. If you take an exam, pass an exam, get credit for a class, and can move on to the next class, it doesn't matter if you pass that exam in one day, one week, one month, it's at your own pace. Now, a lot of schools, a lot of universities offer accelerated programs, and they say, yay, we have 12-week semesters instead of four-month semesters, so you can graduate faster. Or, hey, we have these new special accelerated semesters. You can do entire semesters in just eight weeks. Or, we have five-week online courses, okay? The problem with this is it's basically just taking the same amount of work and condensing it into a shorter amount of time. So what happens is you jump into these eight week semesters, these accelerated eight week semesters. Well, guess what? You can't take a full workload. You can't take four or five classes. So instead you take two classes in eight, eight weeks. And then for the next eight weeks, you take two more. Guess what? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. You're basically just taking less classes in condensed schedules, and then you have to take another semester's worth of that to make an equivalent one semester, okay? It's the same thing. It's basically a college or university, a, a marketing scheme. Look, we have these special accelerated terms so you can graduate faster. Reality is you really don't save a lot of time and you spend a whole lot of money in the process. So if you can't go 100% at your own pace, I highly recommend looking for a better program. Now the next one we're gonna talk about is when schools make you pay for every credit that you earn, okay? Every college or university has their own way of charging you for tuition, okay? and Basically, most schools tell you that you need to pay for every class you take or you need to pay for every credit you earn. Well, the average cost of a credit hour in the United States is $1,586 according to Credit Karma. That's crazy. That's a lot of money. A bachelor's degree is 120 credits. That puts you over like $100,000 if you're paying per credit, okay? That's way too much. But you will also find schools that say, hey, we offer extreme, extreme discounts. You can get probably one of the lowest I've seen is about $150 per credit. Man, what a smoking deal. Well, here's the thing. A bachelor's degree is 120 credits. Even if you get the bottom barrel pricing at a no-name school, that's still $18,000. Here's the thing though, what if you finish your degree in six to 12 months? Well, if you're paying for each credit, every credit, you're still paying for four years worth of school. You don't wanna pay for four years, you wanna pay for six to 12 months. That's why I highly recommend finding colleges and universities that offer basically 
a flat rate tuition, okay? Flat rate, you pay for a semester, and then you can finish as many classes as you want in that semester, and it's the same price no matter what. That way, let's say you pay $3,500 for a semester. Well, if you graduate in that single semester, $3,500 is all you pay for your entire degree. Some schools even offer extended semesters. So instead of four months, they'll do like a six month semester. So that's like two bonus months for free to finish more classes. Now, when you find schools like this that offer unlimited, I guess a flat rate tuition, make sure they offer unlimited credits per semester because you don't want to say, all right, I'm going to jump in. It's a flat rate, but you can only take up to 18 credits per semester. No, you want a school that legitimately will allow you to earn a full 120 credits per semester so that you actually have the opportunity to save tons of money and actually only pay for one or two semesters. Okay. So that's what I highly recommend looking for. Number three is what I call the patchwork degree. Okay. There are a very, very small number of schools in the country that allow almost unlimited transfer credits. Okay, whenever you transfer credits to a new school, most of the time you're going to lose some of those credits. Well, there are a select few schools in the country that basically will accept anything and everything for transfer credits. Okay, if you've heard of third party testing services like CLEP or SOFIA or Straderline or Dante's or study.com, there are others. These are basically resources where you can go and take college exams and then take those college exams that you've completed and passed and transfer them to a university. Well, these are actually really, really good resources. If you, let's say you're in the enrollment process for college, you can start earning credits before you actually start at the college or university that you're attending. They're really, really good, good resources. But what some people do is they will literally use these resources to get their entire degree. Okay. The problem with that is you then become very limited on which, which universities you can attend. Okay. Like I said, there are only a small handful of universities that accept unlimited credits from these resources. Okay. And most of them, they'll even still require you to take some classes from their school, but people will go get a hundred credits using these resources, transfer them over to a university and then finish the last 20 credits at the school. The problem with this is, like I said, you majorly limit the universities that you have to choose from. And most of these schools are not very well-known schools. And guess what? That matters on your resume. You want to graduate from a school that looks good and that is prestigious enough to basically get you jobs that you want to get, right? Well, where you got your credits from actually show up on your college transcripts, okay? So let's say you graduate college and you print out your transcripts or your college sends you your transcripts in the mail and you open it up and your future employer sees that you earned college credits from five different random resources that aren't really well respected. It just doesn't look as good on a resume. Okay. So what I highly recommend is finding a college or university that lets you take exams and test out of your classes through their university. Okay. This allows you to get I mean, really, really fast degrees accelerate at your own pace, but do it through schools with good names and not having a mis a mishmashed or patchwork transcript to show your employers. Now, the last type of degree I want to talk about is basically accelerated degrees that require you to do a whole bunch of assignments for each class. I call these micro assignments. Okay. What I personally look for when accelerating a degree is I want a university that allows me to take one exam per class. And if you pass that exam, or if you get a passing grade on an essay, you get full credit for the entire class. So you're literally studying for one exam, taking the exam. And if you pass, you're done. That's it, right? But there are a lot of schools that say, hey, we're 100% self-paced, 
But then you come to find out that every class you have to take four or five or six different little assignments. You have to do this essay and then take this quiz and then do this homework assignment and then do this and then do that. Well, what happens is every assignment you submit then has to be graded by a teacher and the teacher sends you the grade back. And then if you fail, you have to redo that assignment over again. It's, it just takes you longer. It's not purely self-paced because you're doing lots of waiting on teachers and communicating and stuff like that. And it limits you basically to their grading schedules um, to basically churn through these classes. That makes it a lot harder, okay? Like I said, what I personally look for is a college or university that basically has one exam per class and at most two exams per class. And when you do come across those two exam class classes, they're a lot shorter, easier exams. So that's what I look for. You can literally take a single exam, pass the exam and get full credit for the class. If it takes you a day to do that, you literally finish an entire college class in a day. I think the fastest I ever personally finished a college class was about three or four hours. That's it. You get three or four credits in, I mean, as fast as you can pass that exam. That's purely self-paced and much, much easier to accelerate. Okay. I hope that these four things allow you to choose a college or university or choose a degree program that is purely self-paced, that's a good fit for you, and that saves you a whole bunch of money on tuition. If you'd like to hear me break down my exact strategies for hacking college and graduating in less than 12 months, I'll leave a link down below the video in the description where you can go watch a free tutorial, no strings attached, where I walk you through the three-step process that allowed me to earn an entire four-year degree in just nine months. And my hope is that you can do it even faster than I did and you can save even more money than I did. I hope this video has added value to your day. Go choose a school that is 100% self-paced and actually allows you to move at your own pace. Make sure that it's regionally accredited so that you basically have a good name degree and make sure they allow you to pay per term instead of charging you for every single credit you earn. Hope this has helped. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you in the next video.